What is going on you guys? Welcome to another episode. We are out on the ice on a survival mission. We will be out here living off of whatever we got in this uh, sled right here as well as in the backpack for the next 24 hours. Right now what we're doing is heading over to the woods where we can find a spot to set up camp and then what we got to do is immediately get on the fishing to try and catch uh, some fish because we didn't bring any food, we didn't bring any water on this uh, survival mission. We got to catch whatever we want to eat and then water, well it's it's underneath us. So we got to drill down to get our water. Look at these tracks right there. There's been some animal activity. I'm not exactly sure what this is. It does not look like deer. Ah, the tracks are too, well, maybe it is a deer. Ah, hard to tell what's been here, guys. Is that deer or is it maybe wild coyotes? There are bears and mountain lions uh, in this area. There have been some wolf sightings uh, recently too. There are wild coyotes. Uh, the only thing out of all of those that concerns me is the mountain lions. <laughs> Wolves and bears, they're not as bad as everyone thinks. They're just kind of doing their thing. Now, I have never been uh, over in this area of the lake here, so what we're gonna do is a test drill to see how thick the ice is. Uh, so I just wanna make sure that uh, everything is still safe. All right, let's see what we're working with here. It's thick. We're still not through. Oh, there we go. That ice is about, man, guys, it's almost two feet thick. That is some thick ice. We got nothing to worry about. The only thing we got to watch is around the edges. Uh, it can be a little thinner, so if we're gonna go through anywhere, it would be there. Of course, for safety, we're still wearing our uh, ice picks right here around our neck. These guys are in case you break through the ice, then you can grab these and use them to claw your way out of the ice because they've got little, little nails hidden away. All right, now right here, these are the areas I was talking about along the shore where you gotta watch out. There is a line of molten ice along the edge. So we wanna be really, really careful and kind of test for mushy, soft ice. It seems fairly solid because it's been uh, sub-zero here for quite a while and uh, everything froze over again really good. But yeah, this is where you guys wanna watch out a little bit. Nice and easy. All right, and we are back up on dry land. Well, it's really snowy, so does that count as dry? It's not like liquid. All right, so we're looking for an area that is uh, a bit sheltered and uh, still close to the water so that we can fish and set out fish traps while we're working on camp. Yeah, this right here doesn't even look like that bad of a spot. We got a nice flat area right here for the tent. A couple of trees for some shelter, but no dangerous branches above us that'll come down and hit us at night. Uh, and we're close to the water too. I wanna make sure that we can have a couple traps down there. Before we set up camp, I think it's important that we start working on getting a little bit of food. We got a late start today and uh, the sun is gonna set in probably a couple of hours. We could try and fish at night too, but it's gonna get so cold that it's gonna be very hard to spend any time out on the ice. We're probably just gonna be hidden away in the, the tent tonight. So any food that we gotta catch, we gotta do now while we still have some daylight. So what I'm gonna do now is go down and set up a couple of traps that can work for us while we're setting up camp. Plus I'm a little excited to go fishing. I don't know about you. All right, let's do this. Oh. Ooh. 
Man, we could have the sled up there at camp and when a fish bites, we'll just sit on it and sled down the hill here. I do not want to break through. Feels solid. Man, this spot is slippery. We've actually got what looks like a little bit of a cove that we're in uh, right here. So I want to set up one trap uh, in pretty shallow water and close to camp so that we can run right down. We're just gonna send a little heavy jig down to test how deep it is. It is. Oh wow, it's about five feet deep right here. Five feet deep, that's not nothing at all. All right, I can't resist. I just got a jig for a second. Let's see if anything that happens. All right, and we got the mouse trap, uh, fish traps that we're using uh, here for this episode. Built them and showed you guys how to do it in the last episode. If you guys missed that, check it out after this video. I'll leave the link in the video description below. Just gonna set that little guy over the nail, push the bail back over that. There we go, the trap is armed. I knew it, I forgot to get more worms and I think we're down to, oh my goodness, let's see how many worms we have left here, guys. This could be a real, real challenge. Three, oh please, 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 four, 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 no, no, we're down to three worms left. Okay, this is gonna be a lot harder than I thought it was gonna be. We've got some power bait too, but sometimes the fish don't like that and they like uh, worms more. Yeah, we'll try with the worms first. On these little tiny ice jigs, what often helps anyways is just a little tiny tip of a worm. Don't even need to use the whole thing. There we go. All we've got is just a little tiny uh, tungsten jig head now with the worm on it. All right, and we are going to send this baby down the hole. Oh man, it's already freezing over on top here. That's on the bottom, so we'll come up about that much. So we're just off the bottom here. I'm just gonna reel the rest in. There we go. Now we got the line sitting right on top of that little trigger mechanism right there. When something bites, it's gonna set off the trigger. I gotta get my finger out of there. I just realized, dang, I, I could lose a finger here. But uh, if a fish bites, it'll set off the mouse trap. Then that uh, bale there will open up and that'll release this twist tie and that'll set the rod up in theory. All right, we're just gonna leave that little guy there. We're gonna set up another trap. All right, for this one, I wanna just be out a little bit deeper. I think right here should do it. Oh. 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 There we go, wow. What a workout, guys. Dang. Look at that perfect, perfect ice hole. <laughs> Send that jig down and see how deep it is here. There we go, now we're at the bottom. Wow, <laughs> uh, it's pretty deep here. It's probably a good, maybe 15, 20 feet deep. That's perfect, so we're gonna have one shallow, one deep. Oh man, since we're so limited on worms, we gotta make sure to not let these guys freeze. If they freeze, they're dead. So we're gonna go ahead and keep them in our pocket. Okay, we got that worm on just a little tiny bear hook. 
and we're gonna send that baby all the way down to the bottom. Ooh, thought I saw a bite there. That was really weird, it was sinking and then it stopped and then it kept going, that could have been a bite. There is a fish. Oh my goodness, I'm handlining him. What? Oh my goodness. Oh, it's a brown trout, brown trout. Oh, jeez. <laughs> what just happened? I was just letting the line down. I knew something was going for it as we lowered it. Oh, gorgeous brown trout. Oh, guys, this is amazing. We've already got uh, dinner here for tonight. <laughs> we... <laughs> <laughs> we didn't even have to set up the trap. <laughs> there we go. Man, this guy here absolutely inhaled that hook. So we just went ahead and uh, put him right out of his misery. That way he doesn't need to suffer at all. But he's going to provide a wonderful meal for us tonight. Look at that gorgeous brown trout. Brown trout is one of the more beautiful uh, trout in my opinion. I used to catch those as a kid in little creeks in Germany. So they're just kind of a special one to me. Thank you, buddy, for providing us uh, with dinner here tonight. It's very much appreciated. We can just put them straight on ice. Look at that. Ain't gonna go bad out here. All right, let's go ahead and try to set this all up again. <laughs> that was a little hectic there, guys. That was a little crazy what happened. There we are. Got the trap set. Now we're just gonna lower that baby down and hope that a trout just doesn't bite right away. I mean, we, come on, we gotta have a little bit of fun here first. Uh, both traps are set up. It's time now for us to set up camp. Okay, I gotta stop looking at that trap. I'm just like, <laughs> I'm just ready for it to happen again. Something weird happened here. Check out that line. It's sitting at a very weird angle. Maybe a little fish pulled it that way and it wasn't enough to trip the trap. Oh, something ate the worm off. Man, we're down to two worms left. There we go. Man, we gotta get up and start like working on the tent. We can't, oh. He's already on it. Oh, there he is, fish on. No, oh, he came off, he came off. <laughs> oh, and he stole the, the piece of worm again. Let's get this trap out of the way. And try a little jig here. Really want to find out who's down there. Oh, come on, what are you? Oh, there's a bite. There's a bite. Oh, there we go, fish on. What? <laughs> He's a little tiny perch. Look at the little guy. My goodness, buddy. Here, we're going to wet our hand a bit. We'll get that guy right back in the hole. Look at that. Mission successful. We know who the bait thief is. Hey, no, uh, you know what? No, nope. I, I would generally, any day of the week, I would give you that piece of worm, but you are giving that back. Give it back. There we go. Quick, got the worm back. Get this little guy right back in the water. Oh, there he goes. He's off. Little yellow perch. Awesome. Man, if we could catch a bigger yellow perch, that'd be kind of nice. Wonder if there's any more down there. Usually yellow perch will be in really big school, so I have no doubt that there's probably several of them looking at it down there. Oh, we might have just had another bite. What's going on down there, guys? What is happening? I'm feeling like these little bites, like there's little fish playing around with it, but the sun is set, so it is getting absolutely freezing cold here. I gotta get on some gloves. Oh, there's one on it. There we go, fish on. <laughs> Another little perch. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Nope, we want that worm. Want that worm. There you go. Thank you. Okay, not sure if that's uh, what we want to keep catching, but if we can catch a big perch, they're actually very delicious. Okay, we're just going to set up the trap again and uh, hope for something bigger. Oh, wow. <laughs> that was whacked me in the head. Oh, I just got absolutely destroyed there. Okay, I'm awake now. 
I'm awake now. It's the first time that's happened. I knew that was gonna happen one of these days. Okay, this one here is all set up again. Let's see this guy over here. Looking good, nothing's happened there in a while. So hopefully a big guy bites here, but we gotta go ahead and set up camp. We're gonna leave the fish out here. I don't wanna have any uh, fish smells over by camp just because uh, there are bears and uh, mountain lions and stuff here. Don't wanna attract any of them. It is getting absolutely freezing out. Guys, the sun is setting. So time for us to try and stay warm. Gonna trample it all a little bit. Give us a nice solid ground to set the tent up on. I just went through the ice there a little bit at the edge. The uh, rod up here just went off. Uh, oh, it's all frozen up. Oh no, no hookup in, oh, the worm is gone. What just happened? All I heard was it snapped. I was working on the tent over there. Oh man, we're down to like one and a half worms. Oh, all right tell you guys what to conserve uh worms because i really want to use those worms tomorrow still for some jigging uh we're going to use some of this power bait right here uh, and specifically try and target trout they do love this stuff it's so dry this is old nasty old power bait <laughs> there you go just a little tiny piece of ugly power bait power bait wants to float so we're only going to use a tiny little bit enough that the weight of the hook itself can sink it that's got to be just enough to cover the hook, too. Let's send that baby right back down. You guys, it's beautiful. There's coyotes howling just all around us. We're in this big mountain valley here. We really got to get going on uh, getting that tent set up because it is getting dark, surrounded by coyotes. <laughs> so it's time to get shelter going. The moon is out right there. Crystal clear skies, but that means it's going to be so cold tonight. Our trout is <laughs> our trout is pretty much frozen solid already. So, man, right here when I was running, I went through. The ice right there, it's kind of a slush, uh, muddy area, so we gotta be really careful right there. The tent stakes are not holding very well, so I'm just gonna pour a little bit of water over the corners just to freeze them up. That way the stakes are nice and solid in there. That'll need just a second to freeze up. And this here's just the tent that I always use out in the mountains uh, when we're backpacking in the summertime. There we go, I just used the trekking poles uh, to stand it up and then you just tie them down. That gives the tent the structure. We're just gonna freeze that little guy there too. Gonna take water from the ice hole, pour it into our filter. D. 
Do you hear the coyotes? What a crazy thing, just out here at night on the ice, listening to wild coyotes howling. Oh, mm -mm. oh, something tastes absolutely horrible. Oh, it tastes like moldy or stale or something. I wonder if, oh. Guys, I think I realized what just happened. This filter has been sitting around all day in these freezing cold temperatures. And I think I might've cracked, damaged the inside of this element because there's water inside here and it froze and expanded and probably destroyed the filtering element inside there. It even says so on here, avoid freezing this filter. Freezing may ruin this filter. If unit is suspected of being frozen, discontinue use and replace it. Guys, I never even considered that. I did not consider that I ruined our water filter. No, it'll be okay. What we can do is uh, plan B. We're gonna have to scrap the filter. We can no longer trust it, uh, but we can still use this as a water uh, container. We'll just have to boil our water, make it safe to drink that way. use a little bit of snow here. It's probably cleaner than the lake water. And then we'll just use a little bit of this water to start it off on the bottom. It's really hard to get snow started without just a little bit of water. That'll just help create a nice warm little puddle in the bottom of the pot so that we don't burn it. Even if there's snow in there, if there's no water in the bottom, you can easily burn your pot. Well, guys, that's something learned right there. If it's gonna be freezing, prevent your water filter from freezing keep it in like a coat pocket or something like that. That's a vital tool or vital piece of equipment that, uh, that man, you don't want to lose. There we go, we're just gonna keep adding snow. Let's see how this guy here is looking. Nothing. It's completely frozen over there. Break up the ice right by the line. And we'll pull it off the bottom just a little bit more. We're gonna pull these guys up in a second uh, just because I won't be able to see when they go off here in the dark anyways. We're kind of relying on sound, but I don't want to miss a fish. We're just gonna go ahead and clean out our trout before before he gets too solid. He's already really frozen. Uh, once he's completely solid, I won't be able to clean him anymore. We're gonna clean this trout away uh, from camp. I just don't want any smells uh, near the tent. I don't want to attract any wild animals uh, here tonight. Oh, he's so solid, he's so frozen. Ah, just start the cut right back there by the butthole <laughs> and then just work your way up. There we go. And then just one cut behind the head here. And then the whole head along with all the guts will just come right out. There we go. And we'll save uh, the head. We'll just kind of cover it with snow so that the smell doesn't go everywhere. But we're going to use some of the guts as bait tomorrow uh, because you guys in the comments have mentioned several times to use trout guts or fish guts as bait for more trout. I've never tried that before, but we'll see if it works tomorrow. <laughs> the tail is totally frozen. <laughs> there we go. 
beautiful. All we got left is pure meat on the bones. Now, two reasons that we're not gonna skin this trout. Number one, I love the flavor and the texture of trout skin when you fry it in a pan. And then number two is because it's got a ton of fat and calories, which we're gonna need uh, tonight because it's ice cold and this is all we caught. But that's pretty nice. The meat of the uh, brown trout here has a bit of an orange hue to it, so I bet it's gonna be absolutely delicious. All right, I totally forgot to hit record. <laughs> the water right here, we're just gonna let this baby cool down a little bit. And uh, right here, we're warming up some butter that we're about to throw this trout into. Right, here we go. Guys, I'm absolutely starving right now. I'm so hungry. There we go. We're just gonna set that lid up on top so that I can steam a little bit in there. All right, let's see how uh, much the water's cooled down. Oh, it's still warm. A little bit of sediment in the bottom. We're just gonna make sure that that stays down there and just drink off the top. Uh, if you could imagine a little bit of the swampiness from the lake, it's almost sweet, kind of like a tea, like a swamp tea. It's good. I still can't believe I ruined this water filter. The only real cold weather experience that I've had uh, for backpacking has been uh, mountain climbing years ago. Uh, I got into mountaineering and climbed some of the volcanoes uh, in our state, and uh, up there it can get really, really cold. So, <laughs> But we didn't use filters then. We used iodine tablets and melting snow because there was no running water up there. So this is my first time, I think, taking a filter out into sub-zero uh, temperatures. And we learned a new lesson. We learned a new lesson. Prevent your filter from freezing. Man. All right, let's take a look at this trout here. Oh, my. Goodness. The only thing that this trout is going to get on top of it is a little bit of Danish sea salt. Oh yeah. Oh, oh, they're golden brown. Golden brown, baby, look at that. Nice golden brown, brown trout. <laughs> golden brown, brown trout. Man, what do you think? Not a bad camp at all. We got the tent all set up. We got some warm food cooking. We got some hot swamp tea <laughs> brewed right there. The only thing is, the woods are awfully, awfully dark out there. A little bit of fog rolling in. It's a little eerie, not gonna lie. And it's completely silent now. All we heard earlier were those coyotes howling. No other signs of uh, wild animals besides, besides all the tracks. <laughs> yeah, mountain lions. <laughs> Let's get in that tent soon. But first, we're gonna check out this trout. Oh, baby, yeah. Oh, that looks so good. Look at that browned butter in there. Mm. Look at that beautiful piece of brown trout right there. Should come right off the bones. Look at this. Cheers. A hot meal. Mmm. Mmm. I don't know what it is, if I'm just extremely hungry or something. <laughs> this tastes like a, a five-star meal right here. Salt and butter. Man, it almost tastes sweet. That's how delicious this trout is. It's beautifully caramelized in the pan. Mm, the skin is nice and crispy. Oh man, look at the, the butter is getting totally solid in there. <laughs> here we got our skin sitting down in the... Uh, the fish butter right there. So crunchy, so good. That was fantastic. Wow. Feels good to finally be in the sleeping bag. I'm exhausted. <laughs> what a day. What a day. 
All right, guys, I'm going to bundle up tight in the sleeping bag and uh, get some shut eye because we still got a long day ahead of us. Uh, tomorrow, we got to do a lot of fishing still and catch some more food because that one trout ain't quite going to do it. I'll see you guys in the morning. Why are the birds so loud? Oh, good morning, guys. Oh, get out of here, worms. <laughs> oh man, they're all crushed. <laughs> Hopefully they're okay. We had to keep these guys warm uh, last night because if they freeze, they're done. And we've only got one and a half worms left, so we got to make these guys count. Woke up a little earlier this morning. It was still really cold out. But once the sun came out, it hit the tent beautifully and it warmed up just a little bit in here, kind of like a greenhouse, and it just put me right back to sleep, so we we slept in a little bit. <laughs> oh, I'm so thirsty. That little bit of water last night did not quite do it, and I am hungry. Woo, leaving that sleeping bag was a big mistake. Oh, the tent held up okay, but uh, one of these stakes here did pop loose, so the whole thing's a little bit floppy. Look how much the ice holes froze. <laughs> and we could stand on that already. It's probably already, I cracked a little bit, but it looks like it's about an inch thick there already. And I noticed, I never took off the ice picks. Now what we'll probably try on uh, this rod here is uh, fishing some fish guts. Just like a little sliver of that. There we go, just a little tiny piece of trout stomach. There we go, just on the jig and we're gonna send that baby down. We'll uh, take it over to the deep hole though. <laughs> oh man, it froze enough to where, oh jeez. <coughs> All right, well, we scared all the fish away. Oh, there we go, wow. All right, this is the really deep hole, so we're gonna send that baby way down. Oh, that was weird, it stopped on the way down. We're not on the bottom yet. Oh, no, we're on, I think we're on the bottom. Oh, oh. Oh no, we got a fish! We, no way! Fish on, baby! A little perch! <laughs> oh, no way! No way! Instantly! Instantly! So if it's a perch, we made it down to the bottom. They hang out down there. Hey, buddy! Hey, look at him. He's a pretty little guy. Thank you for biting. And, uh, oh, go down the hole. There we go. Nice! Wow! Okay, so trout guts. This is a trout stomach right here. Uh, works very good as uh, perch bait. <laughs> Let's see if we can catch anything else with it. All right, send her right back down. All the way down she goes. Oh, there's a bite! We got one right away, right away. Little guy, oh, came off, came off. Oh, dang. <laughs> I think we gotta tighten our drag a little bit too. Wow, that's crazy, dude, they love this bait. Oh yeah, nice oil on that water, perfect. Oh, it's so hydrating. That feels amazing. Whew, nice and warm. Oh, did we just get a bite? Come on now, just a big trout. Big trout for breakfast. I don't want to resort to eating those tiny little perch. <laughs> oh man, maybe we should. Oh, there oh, there he was, there he was. That was a good bite. That was a good bite right there. Whatever that was, was a bigger fish. Oh, come on, baby. Come on back. Oh. There he is. Better fish, better fish. Fighter, fighter. Oh, 
he ain't no giant. <laughs> Even got a bit of a belly on him. So I think we're gonna keep this guy. When you're hungry, you can't be picky. There we go. Just put that little guy right to sleep. And on ice, he'll make a wonderful little breakfast snack. Let's see what else we can get. Really hoping for another big trout, but maybe the trout just don't want to, to eat their own kind. You know what I'm saying? We're gonna throw in a worm. Oh, there's a bite. There he is. Oh, no, no, we missed him, we missed him. Oh, send it back down, send it back down. Dang, first bite in forever and I blew it. Ah. Uh. Oh, there he is, there he is. He's got it, fish on. Decent, oh no. No, he came off, he came off. What was that? That was a good fish. What was that? Ah, man, we'll never know. Well, except if we look at the footage in a little bit. <laughs> I'm going to be experimenting with a lot more underwater footage again, guys. We used to do a lot more of it, but uh, I think there's a lot of things I want to try out. So make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss those episodes. Oh, there he is, there he is. Oh, he came off again. <laughs> but uh, let me know in the comments if you guys are digging the underwater footage and want to see more of it. Just got a bite. Just got a bite. There we go. Fish on, baby. Fish on. Oh, that feels good. That feels good. Oh, oh, big brown trout. Nice. We got a big brown. Oh, dude. Oh, he's beautiful. Look at the adipose fin on there. The adipose fin has red dots on it. It's so beautiful. There we go. Oh, oh. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that guy's got teeth, dude. He has got some teeth. Should we just put him to sleep right away? The colors on this guy are amazing. And check it out, his lower jaw right there, how it hooks up like that, that's a sign that this guy is a mature male. There you go. We're just gonna clean up this perch as a quick snack. We gotta take down camp and everything and we'll make the uh, trout uh, kind of as a late lunch slash dinner. Wow, look at all of those eggs that came out of that perch. That's why that belly was so thick. Perfect. Still got a little bit of butter in the pan from uh, last night and the eggs can go straight in. And usually I do not eat uh, the skin on perch. They have a lot of scales and stuff, but man, it's slim pickings today. So the whole fish is going in. While he's cooking, we'll just clean up that trout too. There we go. That's one clean trout. That little perch should be done. Ooh, oh, it's still so hot. I want to eat him though. Oh man, I almost just reached right in there. Oh man. All right, here we go. Finally, it's like, it is getting late. This is, this is beyond brunch, guys. This is, <laughs> what we could try is uh, the fins on a perch. Oh man, look at that. They just come right out the back. We could, oh man. I don't think we can eat the perch fins. They are seriously bony. <laughs> aha, aha. Uh, ow, it like speared me in my tongue. Yeah, this little guy here, we're just gonna try and eat the whole thing. <laughs> He's a little bony. He's a little bony. We're gonna pull the fillets off. <laughs> All right, here we go. <laughs> Perch fillet. Mmm. The skin on the perch is actually really good. There's the bones. All right, let's try these eggs. Dip them in a little bit of the, the butter. Oh man, the eggs are like a dessert. That was a good late 
brunch. <laughs> Oh, look at him dance. Uh, look at him. What have we got here? Oh my goodness. No, no. What is this? It's another brown trout. <laughs> Whoa, he's like a silvery brown trout. All right, let's let this little guy go. There he goes. Uh, we're just taking down uh, camp right now because what we're gonna do is move uh, down further on the lake, uh, just try a couple more spots. We're already over 24 hours. We're probably at about 26 hours now, but we're just gonna keep fishing until the sun goes down and she's, she's already going down uh, right over there. So we probably got another hour of daylight left. We would have kept that fish right there uh, if we were doing like a longer 48 hour or 72 hour survival challenge. Let me know in the comments uh, if you guys wanna see uh, some longer uh, survival missions here. Maybe we could go climb a mountain, come down to the lake, catch some fish, and then uh, go climb that mountain there or just the mountain right behind the farm. That might not be a bad idea for another episode, 48 hours up on a mountain. <sighs> Make sure you guys are subscribed so you don't miss uh, the other survival episodes that we're gonna keep doing this, this winter. Uh, thank you to all you guys, um, of course, for all your support making all this happen. And I uh, couldn't be doing this without you. We're just gonna take all of these fish heads <laughs> and guts Bring them up to where some hungry coyotes can eat them. Here we go. There's a bunch of animal tracks over here. And we'll just put these delicious fish heads right out there for the birds and the coyotes to eat. It's just a little peace offering we can give them as a thank you for not eating us last night. All right, where were we before we got uh, so rudely interrupted by that fish? Ripped the bag. Oh man, I just ripped the tent bag, but I can tell it's all getting all tethered and ripped from all the adventures we've been on it. Guys, this is the same tent that uh, I've used since, geez, 2019 or something when I started coming out here on these adventures with you guys. I bought it for uh, as my new tent for more of these YouTube adventures. She's getting a little bit worn. The tent itself though is still in fantastic shape. We'll just continue using it, <laughs> uh, whether the bag here is ripped or not. A lot of you guys ask specifically about the camping gear that I use in these adventures. Uh, and what I always do is I have the gear links in the video description below. One thing we always wanna do before leaving camp is just do a quick little glance around, make sure that we didn't leave any trash behind. I'm absolutely starving for that last trout too. But if we're trying to make it over to the uh, other side of the lake there, or I'll drill one more hole and we'll try and catch a monster there together. We still have one worm left and we're not gonna let that worm go to waste. We're getting the last little bit of sunshine right there before she goes down. Right here is a spot that I want to try. See how there's a bit of a, a bay right there, like a little cove? And I think right here could be a good spot for another drill.
that's really weird. The ice right here, super slushy. Very, very slushy. I wonder if it's because it gets more sunshine here or maybe there's some kind of a weird spring. All right, we'll definitely fish this. Oh, oh, something's on the jig. <laughs> Something hit the jig. This is a bear jig, they're hitting it right now. All right, here's our last worm. See what it catches, but we're also gonna cook up that trout because that perch is not gonna keep us, uh, I can't even talk, it's not gonna keep us full of nutri nutrinated today. We need more calories, that's all I'm saying. Oh man, the last worm. I've had these worms for probably, I don't know, three, four months <laughs> living in my fridge. So it's kind of emotional seeing uh, this pack here be finished up. All right, buddy, this is your turn to shine. I know this is what this worm has always wanted to do. He's always wanted to be on YouTube. Here he goes. All right, you're gonna have to keep an eye on that rod tip while I uh, start cooking up this trout here. We're just gonna take all the rest of the butter, throw that baby right in there. Ooh, he's curling, he's curling, he's so fresh. Have we gotten any bites? Have I missed anything? Danish sea salt, baby. Sprinkle that on there. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Oh, yes. All right, what's going on here? Why, why is nothing bit? <laughs> the worms are gone. I'm sure I've missed something there. <laughs> All right, this time we're gonna watch it. I also gotta watch this buttery trout though. <laughs> I'm more hungry right now than... Uh... Oh, 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 there he is, there he is. Oh! <laughs> there we go, a perch. Nice one too, nice one. Actually, we ate one about your size today for brunch. There we go, right back in the hole. Good job watching that pole, by the way. Oh man, she's golden brown. Oh, there's, oh, he was right there. <laughs> Missed him. I saw it happen too, come on. There he is. Oh, here we go. Good fish, good fish. Oh my goodness! <laughs> oh, another brown trout. <laughs> yes. <laughs> he couldn't resist it down there. He was playing with it for a while. No need to keep this guy here. Check him out though. Beautiful little brown. Couldn't resist the jig with the worm. There we are. What a beauty. Look at that sunset right now too. Look at that. The sky's absolutely on fire right now. And what else is on fire is this trout in the pan. This is gonna be delicious. Cheers guys, I just wanna say thank you to all of you as always for uh, sticking around till the end here watching. You guys are the real ones. And uh, oh man, let's dig into this. Oh, that's a crunchy tail. Mm. Oh yeah. Cook just perfectly. Oh man, I'm dripping fish juice all over my fishing pole and reel. Smart. Well, at least the reel is greased now. Mm. All right, let's see what's going on with that little worm. Oh, he's gone. <laughs> all right. 
I'm gonna be out fishing some more of these frozen mountain lakes with you guys in some future episodes, doing more survival adventures, uh, as well as going back to the desert compound and doing an update there. So make sure if you guys are still brand new, feel free to subscribe. I'd love to have you join. Leave a comment below. You guys know I love reading them and uh, drop a like on the video, it helps a ton. That's all I got for you guys though. I love you and we'll see you all very soon for the next fishing adventure. And until then, you all know it, fish on baby.